Hi, my name is Zach, this is Harrison, and today we're going to be taking you through the basics of the cardiovascular examination. Now there are a number of things you should do before any clinical exam. For brevity's sake today, I'll just say clean hands and consent. Start by taking a good look at your patient from the bottom of the bed. Are there any obvious pain or discomfort, or are they comfortable at rest? Next, take a look at the hands for any peripheral signs of cardiovascular disease. Have a feel of the radial pulse. Measure blood pressure using a sphygmoma... And take a look at your patient's face for any signs of anemia or hypoxia. In the neck, feel for the carotid pulse. It can be found medial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Never feel both carotid arteries at the same time. Patients can be rather attached to their brain's blood supply. While you're at it, don't forget to measure the JVP. Now we can move on to examine the chest itself. Start by having a good look. Notice anything unusual? Pay close attention for scars, deformities and in situ pacemakers. Once you've done that, you can feel for the apex beat, a palpable heartbeat normally located in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. The location of the apex beat gives you an idea as to the size and location of the heart. An apex beat displaced laterally may suggest, amongst other things, left ventricular hypertrophy. Now, have a good feel for heaves and thrills. Heaves are heaving heart muscle, again, think hypertrophy, while thrills are palpable murmurs, think valves. Now, we're going to take you through where to place your stethoscope, but it's important to listen and to think, not just go through the motions. Try to identify the first two heart sounds, then listen for anything extracurricular. Start by listening at the apex, first with the bell, and then with the diaphragm. Next, listen over the tricuspid area, that's just left of the sternum in the fifth intercostal space. Next, listen either side of the sternum in the second intercostal space. That's the pulmonary area on the left, and the aortic on the right. For more on this, check out our video on identifying heart murmurs. Before you put your stethoscope away, lean the patient forward and have a listen to the back. We're listening for crackles in the lung bases, a worrying sign of pulmonary congestion. To save them a return trip, take the time to press gently over the sacrum and see whether you leave an indentation. A lingering indentation indicates sacral edema. Finish by feeling for the peripheral pulses and pressing over the ankle to check for pedal edema. Now, you're not finished yet. No cardiovascular exam is complete without a respiratory exam, an abdominal exam, and a full history. And you'll definitely need to do an ECG. But this is a good place to start, and you should now have a good idea as to whether you're dealing with ischemia or indigestion. Finish by thanking the patient and getting them covered back up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, why not subscribe to our channel? You can do it by uh, clicking that button there. You can see some of the other videos in our series on clinical examination, uh, just below me, just down there. And uh, why not send us some helpful feedback? Till next time.